Hey everyone! So, PuyoGB teamed up with Sega Unite to bring us a new swap tournament for European and British Puyo Puyo Tetris 2 players. It's been a fair bit since I've entered a swap tournament, so I thought, hey, why not join? I really enjoy the mode, even if I haven't been playing it all that much lately. But hey, maybe this event could serve as a good motivator for me to practice it. When I joined, there was a bit of commotion about how the best player in the tournament, Sinpai, would have some competition. But we can talk about him later. It was about time for the tournament to start! There were 12 competitors in total, including me. The first phase of the tournament was a series of four round robin matches of three people. I was put in Group B alongside Dan Misanthrope and Shuichi, who I was set to play against next. I had actually been playing against Shuichi a lot to the point where he could probably consider us both pretty close rivals. He's really proficient in both Puyo Puyo and Tetris, which is always a super valuable thing to have in Swap. No matter the mode we played against each other, we were fairly evenly matched. Honestly, Shu was probably the closest thing I had to an equal in Swap, so I was very much looking forward to playing against him in Round 1. This was going to be interesting, and with that, the first round of Swap Down was away. I blew it. I did not know what it was. I did not know what to blame. Swap lag? Network issues? My own controller? Something just had to be wrong for it to go that badly. Right? 
It couldn't have just been... me. I started to stress out about the whole tournament, regretting even signing up in the first place. Was I just not good enough? Was I just not ready? Was there actually something wrong? I just... didn't know. You know what? It's fine. Just... shake it off. It's only the preliminaries. That round doesn't matter much in the long run. Hopefully. All you need to do now is win the next round, and then you'll make it to top eight. It'll be fine. My next opponent, the Misanthrope, I actually didn't know that much about them. From what I could assume, they were at least an acquaintance of the tournament organizer, and just want to play in the event. They were most likely just a casual player of both Puyo and Tetris, but I couldn't be too sure. She had already played against them and secured a spot in the final bracket, so I should theoretically be able to do the same. No pressure, right? Well, I made it. I'm in the top 8 bracket. There's nothing to worry about now, right? No. My mental game was still in complete shambles. It wasn't an accomplishment that I won, it was an expectation! I still hadn't solved anything! The rule set didn't help things much either. Even though my loss against Shuichi could be mostly forgotten about, this tournament was still a single elimination bracket. That means if I lost a set, that was it. No chance for a loser's run back. And my next opponent did not help to ease my nerves. This is Blue Hair K. He was the chairman of Puyo GB and one of the commentators when he wasn't playing his own matches. He's also the same guy who did the official tutorial series for Puyo Puyo Champions on Sega's official YouTube channel, which certainly, um, exist. He's a pretty formidable Puyo player in his own right. He's been playing Puyo prior to PPT1's release, so much so that he's one of the few players I'm aware of to make a 19 chain. At this point, my nerves had fully taken over. If I was at my best, I'd be confident in my Tetris ability to try and overwhelm K. But I just wasn't. Whatever happens from here on out, happens. Have the... Uh... Look, oh, I'll, right, be out, I'll be out in a flash. I'm about to be out in a flash. Okay, Tetris start. 
So Kay's opening up a nice garbage line. Uh, Shoal's got another TSD probably to go on, through on the swap. There we go. Um, All right. And so Kay gets some garbage on the board straight away. In here. Okay, now we're in Poyo. A little bit of damage sent over for, for both players now. Um, so again, it's kind of turned a bit of freestyling here. Uh, let's see, Kay's building up on the left wall. And here comes a chain. It's a power. No, it's not power. <laughs> it's uh, just a straight up five chain. Shoal's only got three chain. This is gonna. Yeah, Shoal, you have to uh, stall there. Pressure on Shoal. Shoal has a garbage line in Tetris, but needs to be ready for it. We do have the eyepiece in the first bag, so we should be okay. We've got a swap combo on both sides. Four, five, five swap combo from both players straight away. Um, oh, those, if there's no garbage on that board, Kay would have had an all clear, but not a perfect world. Oh, here comes a three chain, free swap combo from um, Shoal. Look at that damage. Okay. Well, we <laughs> in Tetris. We don't have the eye straight off the bat. We need to clear with something. Um, oh. Almost we're going to be just about lucky enough to get into the WoW. Uh, Cho got a Tetris ready and K in a cleaner mm. place than he was. Four chain here from K now. <laughs> so yeah, he was able to dig back down. Shoal is ready and that is a five chain, I do believe. Unless my eyes are failing me. Okay. <laughs> So that's a nice five chain again. Okay, I don't know what he's going to do in Tetris. What's going to happen, Ren? <laughs> in, oh, it didn't take quite long enough with the piece. Could have let the chain come out in Pia that it does not get the perfect clear. We've got quite a nice garbage down, lying down the side. Show actually gets the, um, the perfect clear from the TKI. It's freestyle. Okay. Oh, here comes a here comes chain. Quick three chain. However, K is ready for this. This is going to be a six chain. Yep. No purple there, or to make it a power six or power five. So, three chain from Shoal, it's looking a bit rough. What's going to happen? Shoal, Shoal has the swap combo. Um, we have K going straight for the Tetris, trying to come some of this swap combo garbage. Um, Once the chain starts to pop, if he gets off. Okay, okay, here we go. Uh, four chain from Shoal here. K is ready, and this is going to be power three into a four chain. Send some damage over. Shoal decides to hit about Empoyo. Here, it's looking quite dicey. For you, for uh, Shoal right now. Although he does have a three chain here, so slight hope. And K, that's only a two chain from K. So yeah, you know, Ren, we were saying these matches are going to be quite long and quite fearsome. So it's, that's what it's turning out to be right now, anyway. Uh, one purple. Show <laughs> uh, playing quite safely, not taking the Tetris, and instead just doing combo down stack. K playing at the top of the screen, um, just trying to clear something and just keep the combo going so that he doesn't top out in the Tetris side. Unfortunately, it doesn't. Not enough. Jeff. Not enough from K right there. Shoal, the fearsome foe right now. All right. We've got GTR. We've got a standard form from K. Three chain from Shoal. K reads that and it's actually going to get an all clear from this. Not quite that. Old. Yeah. Yeah, it's an all clear. And yeah, I yeah. think Shoal, what you. Oh no. Shoal. And Tetris, but has quite a messy board to clean up there oh. as well. Okay, just punishing Shoal. The Tetris is a bit of a small combo over. Oh, here comes a, a five chain from K here. This is gonna be. This might just be it for Shoal, I'm thinking. Okay, yeah, Shoal, Shoal agrees with me. Okay, um, two all. Okay, this is a very nice GTR from Shoal, building very fast. K again, it's pretty fast as well. He's not got access to his chain right yet, and it, is he, nope, doesn't make it in time. Shoal's chain comes off. That's really dangerous for K right okay. now much longer chains this time, but K not sending it off puts K in a really difficult oh, position, he's done. especially <laughs> with the perfect clear from Show. Yeah, um, that was into it. what looks like another TKI, that is way too much garbage to take on the Tetris set. Um, Show is in the right place. Um, potential teaspoon single there, not actually going to send it back across in the are just going to take the garbage there instead. Ooh, a little bit damage sent over from Show. Uh, initially, and now another three chain. Ooh, and the swap combo, two chain. Oh, that finishes them. See, K give perfect clear. Show for the hatch spin. Uh, miss drops the T. Uh, K successfully gets the perfect clear, putting Show immediately half a screen up on garbage. K, K has an all clear. That oh boy, <laughs> that's only a three chain from Show as well. So, I Show. You got your work cut out for you this game, that's all I'm saying. Back into the Tetris, neither player sending anything across. Both players mm. with a bit of a messy board, Shoal in panic mode is not going to get anything there. Oh, look at the power of the case going for these stairs. Oh my goodness, he's a demon. And he gets his chain off as well. And Shoal's chain doesn't work, that's only a three chain from Shoal. Oh, look at his tail, everyone. 
Or this power, uh... <laughs> Okay. Lady Gala from K, had to spin from Show, uh, what we used to sing from both players. Uh... Alright, Show's got a chain ready here, and that's gonna be a power 5. K, what have you got? He's got the ability to stall? No, he doesn't. Uh, yeah, basically now we're just freestyling, essentially. Adding a lot of... Oh, there we go, there's a power 2 into a 3. <laughs> and we have a power 2 into a 4 here for K, so I'll send a little bit of garbage back. Whoa, yeah, that's... Yeah, swap combat. I'm not sure. Okay, sending off a chain again. Um, potential TSD. Alright, so I'd say the situation looks a little bit disadvantageous for Shaw right now. Kay's got a chain ready. You can keep extending with the greens, but he's might be getting a bit greedy here. Yep, there we go, greedy. <laughs> Shaw capitalizing on that. Okay, keeping up what? An awkward fall, I think. <laughs> Alright, do the- Ooh, Okay, no, all clear for you! Okay, that was very clever from Schultz. Okay, yep, gonna choose to send the all clear right now. And it's a free chain, in case it's got a regular free chain, so that will send at roughly 30, not quite... Oh, 28 or whatever. So yeah, looking good for Schultz there. Uh, Schultz sending off something, so we'll have the uh, swap chain coming back into the Tetris K. Meanwhile, it's sending off a lot of stuff um, before the swap comes out Ooh. is not gonna be enough. Oh that's seven! Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> that's that's seven. The full seven from that's Shaw, seven. Yeah. Wow, Shaw wins seven, seven three. three. Well played both. Well, I did it again. Against all odds, I managed to defeat K and move on to the semi-finals. <sighs> this just wasn't going to work. My nerves weren't improving, I felt like I wasn't playing well at all, and it felt like I was just winning a lot of my matches based on luck even if I was performing better during the second half of the set. If things kept up like this, eventually my luck would run out. Luckily for me, the rest of the tournament would be played on a later date. Despite all the time we were given to prepare, I was still feeling the same way about the event. I was still stressing about my performance, I hadn't been practicing, and I wish that I just hadn't signed up for the event in the first place. But then... Hey Shoal, do you want to practice for the event tomorrow? Sure. I was losing, but I wasn't doing badly either, and I was having fun. I didn't care I was not winning the matches I was playing, I was just simply having fun. And that's when it clicked. I got so hyper fixated on how well I should be doing, stressing about proving myself as a good swap player, that I forgot to have fun and enjoy the tournament. Yeah. Winning the event would be nice, but it wasn't worth all the pain I had inflicted upon myself, and instead, I should have just been enjoying the event. However, this still was a competition, and I wanted to be at my best. So, I practiced. My semi-finals opponent was Okami, otherwise known as Spring. They were a frequent tournament goer for many Puyo and Tetris related events, and they would always put up a good fight in anything that they entered. Not to mention that they won their top 8 match 7-0 in this event, meaning that they didn't drop a single game. But with my new and improved mentality, that didn't scare me. I just wanted to play at my best, no matter the results. But I didn't just play good. I came out swinging. He's stalling. He's going to set his chain off as they go into Tetris. Okay, then first chain off. 
immediately we're seeing Sho going for a hatchy spin and we're also seeing a hatchy spin on the other side of uh, Akami. Ooh. The chain on Puyo is way too much for Akami having not set off a chain. No, absolutely. Immediately topped out. Absolutely. So, first blood to Sho. We're looking at a Tetris start this time, so maybe Akami's favour. Uh, we are looking at a perfect clear, maybe for Akami, but it's been um, cancelled by garbage from Sho. Um, Sho's immediately got a couple of teaspoons on the board, putting the pressure on uh, on Akami. We're looking at a teaspoon double set up, but Sho's already got uh, more garbage oh, on the way. Risky! Risky! Risky teaspoon triple, but it's not going to come out in time. Oh, Sho's in very good form at the moment. Oh, manages to get something. Now then, waiting for the swap combo to come in. Gets the swap combo in. Oh, Both let's... players seeing swap combos come in. Uh, nice combo down stack from, uh, from Akami coming back into the game. Cho's still keeping the pressure up. Um, I think Akami's oh, nice garbage, garbage line. line. Um, both players kind of looking for the TSD. Shot a little bit further along. Um, and... We're going to be switching back over with the TSD from Shoal into the Puyo side. Alright then, so this Puyo is a good good play now then. Swap combo, 4 chain swap combo. 50 for 18, 50 for 34. Oh, it's 67 garbage. Now then, Okami needs to try and stall. I don't think Okami's going to be able to stall. Oh, final gambit now. It's about enough. We're on the Tetra side and we, we have... A teaspoon double and teaspoon triple coming out from Akami, but it's not enough to absorb all of the garbage from here. It's interesting how Akami's adapted from doing like the early two chains to try and bury to doing a oh, few it's a nice chain. chain. It's a necessary adaptation. Um, but now then, it's half a is lovely full of garbage. Oh, I was looking for that perfect clear. It was not coming out. Um, we're adapting that to open up the garbage line. We've got maybe a three wide column there. Um, I can't don't think I'm trying to, be able to do much. anything. Just stalling out, stalling out for the last five seconds, but it's not enough. It could be even, but at the moment it doesn't seem to be. Okay, nice little damage there, lands a little bit. It's not really going to trouble Shoal all that much. Now then, this is a good okay, attack from Okami. The Tetris. Um, we're looking at. C spin. Oh, C spin, yeah. Um, uh, so just going for the combo down stack to try and absorb the chain. Um, wow! I'm not really. That was too there risky for a teaspoon oh. double. Oh, gets the perfect big cutter there. Gets a five chain. Now then, Shoal. Oh, with the yellows. It's only going to be a three chain. Oh, it's sixty-seven garbage. Translates to eleven lines. Not garbage. We do have now the then. combo going. Just trying to absorb as much as we can. It's three before. lines. That's a good recovery from the eleven. Now decent then. bounce back. Um, we've got a eye defensey on uh, Akami's side that needs to be resolved oh, as soon as possible. Oh, that was so bad! TSD's on both sides ready, but uh, Akami's not going to use it. They're going to just use the... Oh, um, this is eyes. great from Shoal. You can just got get a little in a few pieces down, yeah. It's a back-to-back -back as well, which is 15 garbage. Are we going to see this what's going to come out? We are! There's nothing there. I'm caught on the frame! Key on the go there for Shoal. Lovely four chain all I tell you what. Shoal hasn't seen this. He's gonna eat the garbage. There's a cummy fire just now. Stalling out. Oh he's gonna no. fire in Tetris. There we go, TKI coming out um and from the cummy and DT Cannon from Shoal. Yeah. Uh, it's almost half a screen of garbage from the the old player. Um, but we've got quite a bit on the Kami side now as well. There's a nice clean garbage Ooh, line but it's buried under it. A bit of awkward stack. It might it be is. an SCSD. Uh, we need the tea, but it's had like to, three pieces Had to bail it. it. Had to bail it. Yeah. Gets a teaspoon. <laughs> a teaspoon zero. All right, now into Puyo and the advantage, I would say, actually, the impetus is with nice little backdoor free chain there. There's not enough blues and caught on the throne yet again. Okami under serious pressure. A kill spike Still is half needed. The to within six seconds, which is a kill spike quite a lot. is needed. Gets it. And it's going to be curtains. That's it. Done and dusted. Seven one to Shoal, and Shoal progresses to the final. I was back. I finally felt like I was playing as well as I should have. No, not just that. 
I felt like I was playing better than I ever had before. I had made it to the finals, and all I had to do was win one more round to take the tournament. Now, all I had to do was just wait for the rest of the bracket to finish. Shuichi was on the other side of the bracket, fighting in the semifinals, and I was ready to give him that run back. However, Sin with the momentum immediately. Oh, but the perfect clear, Shuichi, that's going to take Shuichi's it all away! going to get perfect clear, the first one in the series. All of those tries paying off, finally. Oh, now then, absolutely nothing there. I'll tell you what, if the Rip was there to carry the chain on, that probably would have sent some of the garbage back. We'll never know. Gets the T-Spin triple in, back to back. T-Spin triple worth of garbage onto the PO side, drops two lines over everything. Now then, That's gonna block here off we the go. trigger on the GTR. It's almost a case of pack it up, Shuichi. You're done. Needs the purples. Not gonna, gonna get try them. and stall for eight seconds? No, we're gonna get the garbage in the second. Going Love the chain. the chain there from Sin. They're going for the chain, but the garbage appeared blocked. Oh! Oh, the red should have gone on top of the green, Shuichi! You could have had a four chain there! As it happens, it's curtains, and it is an all-British final, with Sin taking the game 7-2. This is Sinpai. Sinpai is the favourite to win the tournament. He's a competitor whose goal is to become the best Puyo player in the UK. In a sense, you could call him one of my rivals, although... I played against him so many times in prior events, but I have never once won a single set against him. It didn't matter what it was, Puyo, Tetris, or both at once, I was outmatched every single time. Every time I ran to Sin in bracket, he was there to put an end to my tournament run. And now here he was, standing in my way yet again. This time though, I was more prepared to go against him than I ever was before. This was the end of the line. At this point, I had already made it this far. The most I could do was play my best, and put on a good show. Sin as player one, shoulders player two, first to ten Tetris start, let's get it on! Uh, TT Cannon from Show, TTI from Sin, Quick T's been out already, Garbage on Show's board. Um, Show bringing out the um, Garbage from oh, I'll tell you what, this is beautiful d right now from Show. And Show's back on the ground again. Uh, another clean garbage line on the side as well. Um, Show's built up a Tetris already. Um, and we're going to use the Tetris and the Puyo by the looks of things with only two oh, lines. Oh, this, is, this is a good delay from Shoal now. Can Shoal get something going? Sin needs to be aware of this. Gets an attack now then. Swap combo Sin's coming. Sin's up oh. wide. <laughs> looks like Sin was very, very the aware of that attack coming color. through. 21 on the backswing. That is a lot of garbage, but Shoal shouldn't be too buoyed by it. Shoal is going to have a Tetris ready for the swap over back into Puyo. Which that is was a good recovery. Now then, gets a nice four chain off, does Sin, really putting the pressure on Shoal, there's not going to be anything there, and of course the garbage will kill, first blood to Sin in this Shoal. encounter, here we go, both, both chains both gonna fire. The now off. then, who has the bigger payload? We're looking at Hachi Spin on Sympathize, and Shoal. also Hachi Spin on Shoal's, but the other way around, into a... I'll tell you something. The winner there is his show, and that's Curtains for Sin. This is Cat and Mouse now. Joel's not going to take a chance. Oh, I'll tell you what, that's a beautiful bit colour. The read from Sin has been brilliant throughout this entire campaign. That's a big power three, and Sin just like one ups it. Both will get a swap combo if they're able to convert that start. Shoals away. Sins away. Where is the single line? It's not going to send anything until they get this. Gets it down to 11. Okay then. Oh, that's good from that's good from Shoal. Now, opening back up the wall. Got combo nice now. TSD's inside. side. We're building up the Tetris well on Shoals, just waiting for the POs to be in yeah. the right place. Double like kicking out from Sin. Yeah. Garbage Shoal. lands. But now. Swap combo coming up. 
I think that's what combo's expired for Sin. There's no red and caught on the frame as well. Beautifully scouted there from Shoal and it's two apiece. Now then, can Shoal... <laughs> Mind you, I tell you what, building. Sin's not getting anything. Oh, I'm just I'll trying to stay what. on top of it and just about staying in the game until the swap over. Gets it. Now then, Blue's needed. Blue's there it needed is. in abundance. Not gonna Need get them. This is a clever play off. from Sin. I was gonna say I can set it off the reds if you have yellows, but... No, you can't. Oh. Not like that, you need to bounce Puyos. Ooh, L shape from Shoal. This is beautiful. I get up with that. I love L shapes. Karmistry style. All right. This is looking. I'll tell you what. This greens. Okay, here we go. Good luck, Sin. Both chains coming out over into yep. the Tetris side. We're looking at a hatchet spin from Sin yep. and a perfect oh, no, clear I'll tell from Shoal. It's quite a perfect clear no not quite a perfect clear now not then. there um just looking to turn it into a tsd yeah i think the show was expecting sin. the power one to send more than it did oh okay that's the that power five showing off a little bit um, i'll tell you something this might be complete death oh that's clever from from keep, show keep the dance that going yeah Got. Eats the garbage in Tetris to lower the payload. That's beautiful, beautiful Swamp 2 chain. Nicely negotiated there from Sin on the return. Uh, not quite oh, this is good from that. Shoal. Going back through. Now then, needs to engineer a good attack. Goes for a Swamp combo. That's actually going to put a lot of pressure on Sin. Now, I then, see what Joe's doing. Joe was aiming attack. for the kill in the PA side. Was stalling out that Tetris to try and get it off on the PA. Oh, the perfect big color. Fire. Very, very lucky pieces. Um, that would probably be counted out by Show. That's a three, I think. There we go. Now then, this is seriously good. Um, oh, gets the T-spin uh, double with the swap combo as well. This is a masterclass from Show. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, Shoal, that's, that looks quite nice. Just yeah, very, very me. efficient use of the on the left. Um, just looking for the... There yeah, the yellow. There it's coming. Look that was a miscrop. Sin is looking for that... Um, oh, but there's nothing left there. Uh -uh. There's nothing left now, and Sin realised that great mistake. Do or die, go for glory. Now then, yellow's needed. It's a yeah, seven uh, chain to negotiate. Both chains going back across the Tetris again. Uh, so this is good. Up the opener this again. is good. Uh, Using that strength. Oh, I'll tell you what. Good luck, Sin. Good luck, Sin. And Shoal starting to carve a lead now. I like now the way that transition works on the left. Nice. Oh, now this is interesting. Oh. There's no change there for sure. But there's um, yellows. He has to realise he has yellows when he comes out, so he may need to start stalling. Good nine chain. And we're seeing Tetris were already on the side. Sure. Oh, oh, Lots oh, of garbage. Oh. That's a little bit much. Probably to absorb on either side. We're gonna absorb like three lines. No, there, he's gonna, gonna go with a swap combo. Chain. There it is. Here we go. Is that going to eat what it might do? That dovetails. Back it goes. That is a beautiful dovetail counter there from Shoal. But of course, a swap combo with... <laughs> 10 9 on the back swing. Fantastic. That's going to practically nullify all of the garbage that was sent. That was yeah. incredible. Um, Shoal looking to open up that garbage line. It's a little bit awkward. Um, so oh, he's got that. He's that. Got the there. TST potentially, but not quite putting the pieces down right to get to it. Um, now then, I think he's needed. Not back Three. in the game. Oh, he needs to um, bail it. He needs to ba Oh, he's so lucky. Saving, he's saving the eye for these swap over onto Puyo, but no. can't actually do it because there's too much garbage coming he's out fine. Tetris. But builds another Tetris well <laughs> to come back over into the Puyo side. God, this is magnificent stuff. Absolutely brilliant stuff from 
from both. The volley is magnificent. This is this is almost like Wimbledon. Beautiful five chain on the return. Now then, is that Chill going for power? No, just for one. Can he get there? Can he get there? I think quite a bit of damage to absorb, but I think it's enough. Um, Sim just trying to make, just trying to quickly bury Shoal, but like not quite sending enough garbage to do so. Now then, the stall from Shoal. No, decides to take not it. Quite. Okay, Sim looking at power, going for the quick attack. I tell you what, that is a beautiful, beautiful scout there from Sin. Coach Shoal out with that. that was... Yeah. Outfoxed him. Five all scores a level. Back out. Uh, Beautifully done. Oh, a bit of a mess up there. Oh, but it's not too. It's not. It's, it's it is is not irrecoverable. Oh, that's a great ploy. Yellow's needed. Yellow's needed. Where are the yellows? Oh, just about gets a yellow in. Oh, that might have been a bit sloppy. Takes it in Puyo, which is just as well. Yeah, not enough space to take that in Tetris anymore. Um, no, and of course the problem now is... Back there to the garbage lines. <laughs> it's a much, much, much lower, um, but not really got much to send them there. Oh, here we go. I'll tell you what, this is almost a great escape. T-Spin Mini into the back-to-back -back Tetris. I always but, thought that Shell was going to go for a T-Spin triple with him, like the top five lines. That would have been... <laughs> that would have been far too risky. Now then... Oh, definitely. It would have been fantastic, though. Purple's needed. Purple's needed. Doesn't get the purple in on time. That is unlucky. The pendulum swings the other way. Now, I must say, from a pre-GB perspective, both these players were finalists in last year's Swap Masters tournament that we ran. And on that occasion, it was Sin that won the contest. I feel like Sean's done, a, has had a lot of improvements last year. Yeah. Now then. Chain for chain. What's going to happen? Seeing the Hachi from Sin. Oh, what was Sean trying to do there? from Show, but the eye missed Oh, it doesn't left. matter. That is a the chain is longer. That is going to be very, very difficult for Sin to counter. I think this is I probably Shoal that. adapting to the way that Sin oh, set in. Oh, uh, I tell you what, there's a holy counter trigger there before. for um, Sin. Oh, the mess drop from Shoal! Oh, that's gonna be costly. Very costly. More than costly. We're looking at TKI from Shaw and a Hachi Oh, I think I think Shaw just lost what he was doing there. Uh, oh, it's all Shaw's right. right, Shaw's right. Got a nice garbage line. Oh, that's a beautiful garbage line. You can get a detail in. Oh my yeah, god, got how, the how delicious! How delicious is that garbage line? Sending the Tetris over into the view. Yeah, and that catches uh, Sin on the frame. Oh, I tell you what, there's an all clear as well from Shoal. This is this is going to be really difficult for um, for Sin to even do garbage. anything with. A few. Oh, gonna try and take it Two, at Tetris. Do allow the last three seconds. Does it. Right, okay. Kills the board. Sin has to win out in Tetris, but it's just going to be a match. I tell you what, it's seven apiece. An extra TS. Uh, it's single from here, um, oh, here we go. And he's there really? for the back to back Tetris as well. He's just going to yeah, stall nice, out a little nice bit. Nice tucks on the, on the S. Trying to look for extra teaspoons. Um, That's alright. Nice Goes for Tetris it. line. Not going to use the Tetris this time. It's going to use that to absorb it in, in Tetris side. Oh, this is good from... This is really good from... From Shoal. I'll tell you something now, that's 72 garbage, that's a grid filler in Puyo, he takes an orange of it, it's eight lines, can he dig down enough? 
it's opened up as well. Um, potentially got a TSD there. Yeah. TSD there. This is almost final gambit time. for another TSD. Chill and trying gone. to keep the pressure up to get to now, and it's enough. Now then, back to back T spin double, back to back T spin triple. So taking a bit more garbage. I'm um, looking at another TSD halfway up the screen. Very safe. Um, potential TSD, but she was just going to go for the combo down the second set. Going to continue the combo and yep, get the four combo. So a bit more garbage there. Something to bulk it out on the other side. Going for power. Ooh, little fawn attack there from Sin. Now then. Immediate Tetris straight on the spot. Yeah, but here we oh, go. No. Oh, but that oh, chain is... That's gone. That's curtains. Definitely, especially with the mystery. I'll tell you right now, Shoal is on two championship points. And we're starting in Tetris. Looking at Hachi Spin. Both pairs. Yep. Different sides into an SCSD. Now then, is the conversion going to be... No, DT... Um, sorry, DT. T-spin double. The conversion there from Shop. Sin. Oh, I'll tell you what, this is... This is risky. This is risky. Oh, I'll tell you risky, what. Risky, but it's going to pay off. Shoal squandered that. Should have just dropped the, the eyepiece down. That could have been enough. Yeah, Shoal looking to hold on to the PO, but, like, just taken off guard. It is eight apiece. No, sorry, nine eight. Apologies. Now then, so, match the, point for sure. the pressure okay. is no, there. We're on fifty. We're in first fifty. That's ten for this. That's ten. Ten, yeah. Match point for sure then. And two for seven. Three chain there. Four chain from. Oh, that's a beautiful garbage very, line! Very, very clean garbage Into line. Into a Ooh, DT cannon! BT cannon. Uh, now then, just needs a T. A T will do it. T coming. T spin triple back to back. This is almost over. It. Oh my word. This is... Holding on, holding on. Holding on for dear life is sin. It just about makes it back over into PO. Now Probably going to win out here, otherwise... It going to be a very very difficult game gets the right color i'll tell you this now the swap combo it's gonna seal the game there's not gonna be anything there for sin it's game yeah. it's set it's match it's championship and your winner of the sega unite slash pujb swap down tournament is shown what a magnificent contest absolutely thrilling Incredible set. Magnificent play from both players, definitely, throughout the whole thing. We're not going to be able to gloss over that game. Both players were just on the money. Very little room for mistake, very little let off. Each player punished the other, but ultimately it was shoulder at the end that sealed the deal to become the first swap down European champion. I mean, that's absolutely magnificent, isn't it? That was about over two years ago. This would be the last time I would enter a singles tournament as a competitor. The next event I would enter would be a doubles event with Chrome, and you already know how that went. How come? Did I feel like I had already done it all by winning? Did I just lose the motivation to compete? Looking back at this, I think my competitive mentality was really poor. I was so preoccupied with how well I should be playing, obsessing over my own failures or not living up to the competition, that it became self-destructive. And I think I just didn't want to feel that way anymore. So I just... stopped. And I just want to say to that, have I learned nothing? It doesn't have to be that way. Sure, it can be demoralizing to lose in tournaments or feel like you're not playing at your best, but these things just happen and have to be expected sometimes. You just have to appreciate how well you're able to do. The important thing is just to have fun with it, regardless of whether you win or lose. And on the off chance that you do end up winning, well, then that may be a moment to look back on fondly. I know I do. Maybe at some point, I'll join another one of these events if I can. And 
That's all I have to say. Thanks for hearing me out, and I'll talk to you at all another time. So, see ya. <laughs>